Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Stu Dog, back in the flesh. When was the last time you saw this ugly mug? A long time ago. But I have to look at it every day. And sometimes the hair isn't even done, and sometimes the face isn't even shaved. General prerequisites for making videos, ladies and gentlemen. Do your hair, shave, and at least put a minimum of a top on. Unlike some YouTubers, but this isn't about some YouTubers. This is about me, ladies and gentlemen. My channel, the last year, what has happened, and what is yet to come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the last year, I've barely even done anything on YouTube. I've barely even been here. That's quite odd to think about. I've, I'd mostly made just YouTube shorts, uh, shorter videos, Fallout memes, general just stuff like that. Not very much in the way of my usual YouTube kind of rules and uh, thoughts and opinions on things that are happening on YouTube at the moment. I had been feeling that with everything going on with work and just general life stuff, I'd been falling behind quite a lot with YouTube news and sort of uh, terms of service rule changes and new features and stuff. And, you know, it got me down. It made me, I was making lists and I had literally so much stuff on the lists that it wore me down and I did literally nothing. Oh my god, I've got so much work to do. You know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to play Fallout for like, you know, literally over a thousand hours. <laughs> I had been finding a lot of success in short form content, especially with bits and pieces from the new Star Trek series that are currently on the go at the moment. I want to make some more of those. I'd been thinking about a schedule of trying to at least upload a short video per day. Towards the start of the year, I was looking at trying to upload a short video and a standard sort of normal-ish video, but that sort of dropped off after a while. As with everything, work and sleep tend to get in the way with recording and, you know, not keeping sociable hours, so not being able to sit in front of the camera and, uh, you know, yell about stuff. That's a, that's a bit of an issue that happens quite often, ladies and gentlemen. However, how has that affected the channel? Well, it hasn't. I used to find that if I didn't upload, my view counts would plummet. However, I've noticed that the channel seems to have a bit of traction these days, so when I don't upload, I'm still meeting my sort of standard goals that I'm after, which makes me a little bit less... What would the word be? less panicked about uploading things. So that's that's definitely a good thing uh, when it comes to sort of YouTube stress, I guess would be the term. Hundreds of views a week, thousands of views a month. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. Considering where the channel was last year, I'm definitely happy with the way things are going at the moment. And in the last year alone, my channel has increased its total amount of views by about a third, which those numbers to me are astronomical. When I made this channel all those years ago, back in 2016, I would never have imagined being where I am today. And yes, those of you who've been here for a while will be like, Oh my god, Studog, you say that like all of the time. You say that every time you make a video like this. You're like, oh my god, I like never expected to get like that somebody watched the video. Oh my god. But the thing is, it's true. And for me, that's a, a magic. That's a wonder that never seems to cease. I think that is amazing. Especially with YouTube's rules and algorithms that seem to drag down the smaller creator. I think it's also fair to mention some YouTube-related things that have happened outside of YouTube in the last year as well. My good friend The Wanderer. I have met him on 
no less than four separate occasions. Twice he was in my city, and then another two occasions I went down to visit him. I think this is definitely the sort of the side of YouTube that I enjoy, the socialising aspect, getting to know people, and then actually meeting people in real life. It's, it's a wonderful thing on this platform to be able to make friends and then plan to go to bars and make stickers of your YouTube channels and put those stickers in the bar that you go to. I think that's definitely a goal to look forward to, a mission to accomplish. The Wanderer Squad specialised in stealthily scouting areas and marking them with a pink turquoise and hot pink Enclave Advanced Power Helmet. Work has been fine. In the aftermath of the pandemic, I've been finding that I'm actually preferring to go into the office more often. Our rota allowing for a person to work at maximum three days from home per week and then spend the other two days in the office, uh, especially uh, focused team days where you have staff meetings and things like that. But I'm preferring to be there pretty much all the time because, well, when you've just spent, you know, the better part of a year at home during the pandemic, it's just good to get out again. A world that seems to be returning to some slight form of a normality. That being said, though, over the um, week between Christmas and New Year, I have been working from home for the main reason that the canteen in the office is shut. Um, I'm not going to go in there and, you know, spend the better part of nine hours with no food. One cannot maintain one's rotund physique by not eating. Especially when he walks in on Tuesday and um, the first thing he gets told is the canteen's shut. And boy was looking forward to a bacon roll and a cup of coffee. And, um, you know, he hadn't eaten anything all morning. Uh, that was literally disappointment right there. So, it's just like, fine, I'm going home. Bye. <laughs> I find there's something more mentally stabilizing about being in the office as well. Um, when I got home on that day, uh, I hadn't worked from home in quite a while and I just you know, your boy got anxiety pretty bad like hey you know I carried my cup of coffee to my table and boy's hands are like pure shaking and um sets his coffee down and just spills it everywhere has to set his uh, computer into a break code to go and just like clean my desk and just wipe all the coffee up um, yeah, that was that was definitely a moment, um, a moment that I've I've not had in in years. <laughs> Do you think that was like cute? Was that a moment for you? So of course, I reckon the big question is where does the channel go from here? State of the channel address twenty twenty two. Um, well. And you're going to be like, it's still dog, you say this all the time, oh my god, you say it and you never fucking do it because you're a dickhead. But um, I want to upload more, more consistently. But you know, the usual fucking garbage that a YouTuber says. <laughs> Turns out to gain subscribers again, I just had to consistently upload again and not take so many breaks. Um, I want to actually actually upload um, on what seems to be uh, a, a semi kind of regular basis as opposed to month passes then he uploads a 20 second long short about the enterprise and then another two months pass <laughs> it's um it, it's not consistency and it's not the way that i want to run my railroad he loves playing tricks on the other engines Especially Leonard the Green Diesel. Ah, you utter shit house! And I will admit and hold my hands up to I I don't think it's laziness. I think it's more procrastination. It's more I'd love to record a video, but you know, the big but. Um 
I, th- I need to go and shave and I need to do my hair and stuff like that. And it's it's 11 o'clock at night and stuff like that. I just want to sit down and play Fallout New Vegas. You know, waste more of my life into this game that I've been playing for, at this stage, what, the better part of 12 years. <laughs> I don't think waste is... um the right word there. I'd like to apologise to the New Vegas fans. A minute in New Vegas is not a minute wasted. Unless you're looking at the loading screen because the game's just crashed on you because you've modded it too much and it's just shit itself. That's the story of my life, mostly. But yes, uh, more videos, more, more regularly, more often, I think, is definitely an idea. Um branching out onto other topics and other subjects as well uh, rather than just the sort of YouTube um, rules and bits and pieces like that. We picked up a few music packs and a few graphic packs in the last year so uh, production values on the up. Oh yeah. Boy looking suave. That being said though when the procrastination monster hits I just need to sit there and uh, you know think about what my dad says and just Imagine his face, where he just goes, Well, just shut up and date then. I, I think that's maybe uh, a motto or an ethos that I might need to use moving forward with the channel so that it just continues to exist. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that will about do it for this ramble. I don't think I have much more to say, really, apart from Happy New Year. And for those of you who are already in the New Year, wow, did you use a DeLorean to get there? I'll catch you next time. See ya.